Good afternoon. Um, I will try to do the, all the presentation in uh, English, uh, but uh, I apologize in advance if uh, some things ran, went uh, wrong with my, my English. So, uh, my name is Ruth. Um, among other things, I'm a worker at uh, IT uh, sector in uh, Seychelles municipality. And uh, I'm working there for uh, 50 years. So I will make you a presentation about the reality of open source in uh, Seychelles municipality. So the, the open source has been an inspiration for me, not only at the machine code level, but also in the field of freedom of genetic seed code. Um, it's not only uh, informatics. When I saw first time a Linux 20 years ago, um, I, I can't believe it because uh, that uh, interface, it was very bad. But uh, the friend who showed me Linux also explained to me all that philosophy. And after I hear and do a little search, I decided to give it a chance. So after 20 years, here we are. So, um, the open source, uh, Seychelles. Um, Seychelles is a city in a metropolitan, Lisbon metropolitan area. It has six parish and it has a, a growing population. So this is a, a drawn photo of uh, Seychelles Villa. Uh, this is um, just to to show to 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 tell you uh, about the dimension about uh, of this municipality. So uh, our scenario, it is a uh, Windows-based architecture. We have 1,500 active users. The majority of our computers are very old. Uh, I think this is general in uh, public function. And we have uh, several uh, Win-based software and very, very, very old. We also have a lack of stuff in the IT sector. After all, we are a few for that big number over there. So, uh, in uh, 2011 in Portugal, um, it came out a law uh, which establish the adoption of open standards in government computer systems. And in that time, in uh, Seychelles, um, a part of the IT sector, uh, actually five people, decided to advance with a pilot project whose mission was to implement, implement open source software in municipal points. These municipal points um, are board band, um, they are computers which are provided to, with an internet connection for public use. They are placed in uh, libraries, youth centers, and municipal store shops, uh, service shops, sorry. So, um, this, this is, um, was the team that, uh, for the project proposal, uh, we will pass the free software philosophy to the community because these access points it's, uh, were not to, our, to workers. It is uh, to public use, okay? And it was, it was a bottom-up approach. 
uh, which mean a work of uh, a team of IT technicians that uh, give the um, send the proposal to administration. So in uh, 2050, it was concluded that it will be possible to replace all the Microsoft operating systems in these computers. Uh, let me help with here. Uh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So, at the time, this option representing a saving of 30,331 uh, 30, euros a year. Of course, the administration only see this number. Okay? For us, um, it represents a lot of things, not only the numbers that we are reduced. So, Currently, uh, we have a total of eight municipal points, which are equipped with uh, 52 computers, all with Ubuntu, and no dual boot, okay? Only Ubuntu. They are uh, installed in those uh, services that I, I say, and they are used for all the community. What was the strategy uh, used to, to, to achieve this, uh, this uh, implementation? We, it was a raise of aware, awareness of the Ubuntu philosophy, key users with clear information to justify the switch to Ubuntu. This means the, the um, regular users of library, uh, one day went there and the desktop, it's not the same. So they, they ask why this isn't Windows anymore. And uh, the, um, the workers have this clear information to, to justify. And the extractions to be a first line support. Also, the ET team give uh, a little training to Ubuntu uh, using. Okay. We also uh, have a support line, a, a dedicated line for answer all the problems. It's a possible uh, show in one one pa one place. I'm sorry, my English is getting better, uh, worse. So, and uh, the the key the key of all strategy, and we will see that it's uh, the most important every time. It's communication, communication, and much more communication. The ET team and uh, those workers have a lot of meetings. Okay, lots of meetings. We don't install and go away. We install and stay there with them to help them to understand for they to explain to the public. Okay. So we have some brochures also that we put in, uh, in every place to explain how can users use the new operating system. This is a, a example. Okay. So, um, just a second. From the moment we had that is, uh, we have 52 computers with Ubuntu to be used by all kinds of people without uh, registering more anomalies than the previous in windows. Let's go. This was the next customer. Okay. We went to schools, but here we have to make a bigger project pilot. Okay. So we choose free schools with different realities. Okay. Where 
were evaluate execution time, anomalies, and human resistance. This is a very big uh, struggling, struggler, human resistant. It's, I think it's the, the big problem of all. So, uh, uh, here we go. This, um, this project had some, some steps. First, we perform uh, analysis and uh, testing. Also, because schools had uh, old printers, old scanners, old, old everything. So we have to, to test every connective, connectivity device. Once again, manuals provided. Okay, we delivered to schools manuals for teacher can use Ubuntu. But also, uh, this is, um, we are talking, we are not talking in a year, okay? We are talking several years. Actually, uh, today in 2019, we are still in this project, okay? After we see uh, that teachers um, still don't use Ubuntu, so we go again to the schools and we made briefing sessions, okay? So if you don't read the papers, we go there and we explain to you. Teachers are not happy, but uh, they are complaining less the more they get familiar with uh, the system, they are complaining less, okay? And also we are identifying and evaluate of the new tools in the daily routine at the school because it's normal, uh, some variables that we aren't counting uh, show up, okay? So this is a, a running project not a completed project. Once again, more communication, and this time we, we write 10 reasons for kids to use Linux. To in, incentivar, um, incentivates, <laughs> incentivates uh, teachers to explore the new operating system. This is not bad. This is another option. So we made this again and we take to school. Okay. But the, currently we had 20, uh, 287 PCs on uh, 36 elementary schools with Linux, Ubuntu and its productivity tools. They are installed and they are being used. Okay? And we improving. In, we are improvement. The big problem with this project is the lack of uh, ET persons, workers, okay? Because, um, I will try to explain. We are 23 technicians, but this, uh, this whole group don't work in this project, okay? The project elementary schools, we are talking about five people, okay? In, in truth, is a, a coordinator that, uh, believe in uh, free software philosophy that obligate, obligate? Forced, forced everyone to participate in this. Really. They are learning, but uh, it was not a thing uh, of the IT sector. Okay, let's do this. No, it's one guy that uh, explain, talk, so they, he forced them and now they are learning and they also complaining less, like teachers. 
So, uh, here, 2017. Here, the LibreOffice uh, option, it was the opposite, which means we get a direct order from the main board for we to switch every uh, Microsoft Office suite, okay? It's the opposite, the other ones. So we get that order, we arrange a team, that's where I get in. Um, we arrange a team of six, but these six, uh, actually we are two. And um, we are working, let me. The, the goals for, for this implementation, it was, it must have the lowest possible impact on daily work, uh, which means the, the administration wants that we made all the, the swap, that we, users don't notice the, the, the change. We also, um, forced to user engagement and some empathy to LibreOffice Libre because it's very important, okay? From the previous uh, experience, we uh, see that um, we have to, to gain our public, okay? That's why we do lots of meetings and go to the desktops with people and help them, okay? And this takes a long time, very, very long time. So, uh, reach over 70% 70, 70 of total users, we passed this, we passed this goal. And of course, they also say adoption of open standards and reduce costs also, okay? So, the challenge. Uh, once again, our computers are very old, and because of that, we not also had different um, versions of Windows, but also had different versions of Microsoft Office. Several uh, database on access, and uh, when I was talking uh, previously, um, I forgot to put here because of the VB project, okay? We had lots of programs made on VB. And LibreOffice, it's uh, the compiler, it's not 100% okay. So, and we had a large document volume from data management software. We, we had a software which produce lots of documentation and uh, interact directly with uh, the, the, um, the electronic, um, electronic uh, with uh, tools like uh, Microsoft Office, okay? And we have to change every single file to LibreOffice because it's it was radical different, okay? It was very, very different. So we have to mate everything again. So, and we have again to lead with change resisting, resistance. Because we are facing 1,500 users and willing to learn a new app. This is very hard. Okay, because we are giving some help desk and we normally had uh, the users, but I don't like this. I want to get the girl. It's uh, madness. It's uh, change resistance. It's crazy. So, uh, the strategy here, it wasn't different from the, the others, but uh, because we are talking about the, um, the, um, the workers, in the municipality, we have to do different, different and more intense. Uh, once again, the key user and training, 
okay? 20 hours of uh, training in a library office. I could say I passed six months um, training users uh, all uh, skida. Oh. Six months, okay? But uh, this is also very good because it was an answer to the lack of training among the users. And uh, when we were in, uh, in the classroom, they understand that they don't know how to do in Microsoft Office, so they still don't know how to do in LibreOffice. And the people who, who knows, still knowing. So this uh, training is very, it was very, very important. So once again, in Ford, to involve everyone in the migration uh, process. Uh, it was uh, very warnings about, um, uh, f um, about the files we gave, we gave to, to the services, but, uh, they do what they want to do. They are very wild, our users. So we rebuilt all the files and we had help desk and support content on internet. But when they had a problem, they call me. Normally, they don't read nothing. So we are talking about uh, 18 months uh, until implementation. First, we training and involvement, briefing and considerations. Be aware, please transform your file in PDF. Check if it is okay. No, they do whatever they want to do. So more considerations. Once again, we are going to remove Windows, uh, Microsoft Office. Please check your uh, files. So, and finally, in November 2018, Microsoft Office was removed and replaced by LibreOffice, okay? Uh, the, um, the approach we do, we did, it was we remove from everybody. So, if they want, they call us and we'll analyze, okay? And we are making this in this way. So we remove. If you want, you need to justify it. And uh, normally me, I go to the, to the service and uh, analyze if really, really they need to, uh, to maintain Microsoft Office or just have to learn a little bit more. Okay. So the identified issues uh, with this uh, migration process, it was a uh, change resistance in the top. User bad habits revealed. This is very important. Why is that? Users uh, get some habits that they still doing time after time, and this is not good. Uh, we are talking about spreadsheets. Um, I found some service, they are copying the same file, okay, the same Excel from 1995 or something like that. Even the formula, it was used, it doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore. So, I don't understand, but uh, they, they, they tell me, no, no, this is very bad, this is very bad. And when I, I arrive to their place and I analyze, I talk to them and I say, no, this is not a good habit. You have to do the files again. So, and uh, uh, receive and sending files outside the institution and trouble opening and comparing Compatibility with files, Microsoft Office uh, version 2010 up. And this is very uh, funny because uh, the files came from other public entities. So if we have um, a law or something that uh, 
advise us to use open formats. Why? Us, that we migrate to LibreOffice, have to back, uh, back again to receive those files. I don't understand. And we have here a lack of LibreOffice mass deploy because, once again, the technicians um, don't um, get the, the tool to do this uh, massively. Uh, we don't uh, go to computer by computer to install things. Uh, we, uh, they say they send to, to network and they installed, but they don't figure out how to do with LibreOffice. That's what they call me. I don't understand this matter, so I have to believe it. But uh, for me, it's very hard to believe this. So actual situation, several LibreOffice versions, a few departments or users left because of the exchange documentation with outside and non-compatibility with access database apps or VB projects. Acquisition of new computers. We can uh, buy more computers than we reduce. The, the license we gave, we receive uh, green light to buy new computers. Okay, and once again, lack of IT stuff. Thank you. Uh, once again, I think it's uh, very good to remember because we are talking about uh, a public entity, public money, so the code must be public. I don't know, this is not the outer key talking, this is me, Ruth. <laughs> it's a different, <laughs> but uh, I think it's, uh, I think this is it. Okay, thank you. Right. Okay. So I don't, uh, don't know if uh, you understand everything I said, if you have some questions. Uh, hello. Uh, was there any pressure from a company or any lobby? Microsoft? For example. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Uh, until now, okay, we don't uh, suffer any kind of uh, pressure from Microsoft. Okay. Uh, actually, it represents a lot of money, but. Um, I don't know. Uh, I know the mayor of the of Sachal, and I think he's not going very much in the pressure thing of Microsoft. I think he's uh, meant to swap thing and convince Microsoft that she has to change. I don't know. I, uh, I answer your question. Hi. Uh, um, well, right now you you are in the in the end of the, the the process, as I understand. Was there an invitation from other Camara uh, municipalities, other municipalities, uh, any uh, um, ask for help or a case or, or were you used as a case study to implement all of this in other municipalities? Uh, no, I <laughs> I can share with you. Uh, in the last year, I'm very committed to find another outer key. I try to to talk, and I talk with some. And um, with our dimension, no, it's impossible. I talk with Lisbon, and what they say. It is, uh, they are putting LibreOffice in the disk image. Yeah. Okay. So you are implementing LibreOffice? No, we are putting LibreOffice in the disk image. So what, he, what he's saying is, I put that software if user wants to use, he use, but I don't give, uh, I don't give a damn. Okay. So if you know, uh, some municipalities 
who wants to change <laughs> some some experience because uh, we have uh, lots of issues that are in common but uh, i think at the moment sachal was the first one to do this hi do you have any ideas or suggestions to as normal uh, citizens from municipalities to start the conversations with our municipalities uh, regarding the using open source okay i can uh, share uh, my experience um, i'm i'm a worker and i also live in the in the municipality and some years ago when uh, it came out the um, online services it doesn't work at firefox okay previous that show chrome much before okay and i have ubuntu at home i don't have internet explorer so i cannot use those uh, online service and i send a letter every day every single day i send an email i had uh, i'm using also the form from online service to complain and to say i'm not obligated to use internet explorer please check your online services and in the inside it's it was very complicated because i was uh, shocking with them okay uh, but um yeah i think uh, every user is to 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 send uh, some uh, suggestions okay uh, they have online services uh, and give examples okay because mayors don't know about technology so it's a part of our job to um give a little help it's like teachers they don't read the paper so we go there and we sit and we converse uh we talk sorry okay i think uh it's the only thing i can suggest is to to send uh some some suggestions some notes please use open source or please i, I know a days i have a, a good one because it's a i'm um i'm a vegan cooker i'm very uh, connected with uh, biodiversity and um i'm talking to him and uh, please don't waste your money in software redirect that money to food in elementary schools please okay because it's very important and this is my job as um a living a citizen okay i think everyone can do that thank you very much obrigado desculpa sorry for the time uh, this is not a question is how you can do um, to influence your municipality it's uh, one of the things is check what what is the position of the uh, governing party on the municipality what is their position on uh, open source and free software and then take that and send them and ask them what are you doing in this area how are you fulfilling the things that your party says that you should be fulfilling and then this is a way of pressuring also uh, and if they reply we are not doing nothing you can send an email with their response to the uh, to the secretariat of the party and ask well you have this position but your municipality has this position what it is what is the solution so this is a, a way of also of, of making some pressure okay because the the the, the secretariat can do a lot of pressure yeah. on, on local yeah uh, it's right <laughs> Thank you once again. Any uh, sorry, just any extra questions that you have with Ruth, just go to the lobby. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.